Good afternoon, everyone. Hello or welcome. Thank you for joining us on our Friday afternoon live. So, I'll give it a second and see if anybody jumps on, but if you're re-watching this later on, let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Today we are applying hemp finishing oil to carbon, which is in chalk finish, and to the timber of this dresser. So before I go on, we'll give it a second just to see if anybody jumps on. You never know. I know it's a bit annoying waiting, but just skip, skip forward about a minute and I think we'll be about there. So you're not going to miss anything. Just peel this tape off while we Oh, there you all are. Hello, welcome. So my name's Elise. I'm the owner and the artist behind the Painted Brush & Co. Uh, we are at 37 High Street, Eagle Hawk, or you can find us online at thepaintedbrush.com.au. Uh, today, we are doing another Friday afternoon live. Friday afternoon lives are working really well. Um, and I have been listening and seeing all your feedback and I'm really glad that you guys like them as well. I feel like they're a good leeway into the weekend. And it's a nice way for me to sort of end my week as well. So today we are applying, we are applying Pure Eco Hemp Finishing Oil. Excuse my revoltingly dirty bottle, the sun's on it, there we are. Pure Eco Hemp Finishing Oil onto chalk finish and onto timber. So we're doing both today. Uh, this dresser we painted two weeks ago. Um, you can go back and watch the live on our Facebook page and I will, I don't think I've put it up on our YouTube yet, but it will get up on there as well. Uh, so Pure Eco Chalk Finish in the colour Carbon. This is the jar for anybody. Oh, that sounds bad today. Pure Eco Chalk Finish Carbon. So it looks blue in the jar, but it's black. Um, it's really, really beautiful. So we rolled two coats onto the drawers and onto the sides as well. So, let's get started, shall we? Um, if you have any questions at all as we go, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer questions. I can see your comments. Um, and if you have questions about anything else while we're doing this, it gives me something to talk about, so please don't hesitate to ask. So, uh, we're going to start with a chalk finish today. I love Pure Eco Head Finishing Oil. It comes in two sizes. It comes in a 125ml and in the 500ml as well. The 125 is, I don't know how much, and I don't know how much the big one is either because <laughs> the pricing labels aren't on them, apparently. Um, I think the big one's around $45, $50, and the small one I think is about $20. -ish. Um, a little goes a really long way. As you can see, our bottle, we've got about an inch left today, uh, but we will find out how far it actually goes, that's for sure. So, hemp finishing oil, I love it over chalk, uh, over chalk finish and over um, timber because it's very nourishing. It works by soaking in and then it goes through a natural curing process where when it hits the oxygen in the air, it hardens. Um, very natural process. It's absolutely gorgeous when it's fully cured. It is incredibly durable. I have hemp finishing oil over chalk paint on my sideboard in my house. Um, I have two young kids, a couple of dogs. There was a cat at the time as well. Uh, plus myself and my husband, we are very rough on our furniture. Um, there's just, we're rough. <laughs> we are very, very rough. You know how you see a piece of my place and you're like, how can somebody treat their furniture like that? That's what we're like. Um, so, hemp finishing oil is incredibly durable. I've got it on my sideboard. The only scratch on my sideboard is because of me, because I've opened the door and haven't moved the pram. Um, there's not another mark on it. So it is a fantastic way to seal chalk finish. Um, the application is exactly the same as wax as well. Over timber, it's very nourishing. It will hydrate the timber as well. It will bring out the natural color of the timber. And overall, it's just a beautiful, beautiful finish. So, to apply, I like to use a brush. We're using chip brushes today. These ones are on my website, they're 50 mil. 
Um, they are a natural bristle. They're at 550, I think. Um, and I've got one left in stock because I've had to pinch one off the shelf. I've left all my supplies at home, of course. Um, lucky that I have the hemp oil here today. I like to use a brush simply because to apply a cloth tends to soak up too much product and doesn't spread it around as well. So I use a brush and I'm just going to, just let me grab a, one in the middle there. There you go, now you can see what I'm doing. Right, our draw, I've just drilled the holes today for the new handles, which I will quickly show you as well. I went to Ikea on the weekend to get our new shelving and I found these beautiful handles. They've got a little bit of sparkle too, which I don't mind, but I think overall on the piece, it keeps it quite industrial looking, which I'm going for. Uh, and it is a massive dresser as well. Um, apart from that, I haven't done anything since we painted a couple of weeks ago. I was just waiting on the handles to make a decision as to what we were doing today. So, uh, oh, because I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to do something else to the at least the two little drawers, but I've decided not to. You can decant into a dish if you want. I'm lazy and I don't like dishes. So straight onto your brush. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna wipe it on. You can go in any direction you like. This is not a top coat. Uh, you can be, you can have fun with it. You can go in whatever direction you like. You can see the, the black is automatically darkened. Um, oops, sorry, we've got notifications popping up left, right and center. Oops, sorry. <laughs> How do I get rid of that? There we go. Okay. Yeah, you can go in any direction you like, whereas if you apply a top coat, you need to apply carefully and in one direction. And this is why I love uh, hemp oil and waxes. Any direction, you just want to get it on there. Now the key with this is not too much. Uh, less is more in the case of hemp oil. When it goes through that curing process, if there is too much product on your surface, it's gonna turn into a sticky, tacky, yucky mess. That can be quite hard to remove. Then you're just going to take a, I like microfiber cloths. I use the ones from Aldi. They come in bulk packs in their um, special spend lots of money section. Um, I think they're about $20 and I think there's like 25 to 30 in a pack normally. Um, I do find these cloths are quite good quality. I have tried other microfibers and they just fell apart. So I do recommend these ones. And all you're doing here is wiping off that excess and you'll notice as well, and this is why it doesn't matter if you miss bits, it's spreading that around and making sure that it's all sitting where it's meant to sit. Don't forget the sides of the drawers, we take these off um, so we're just going to make sure we get those, get along the top and along the other side. Nice and simple. Now once this has been applied, if you do decide that you don't like the finish, uh, you do need to remove your oil, hot soapy water to get, get it off and then a good sand as well, just because you cannot apply anything over the top of it. Right, so once you've got it nice and buffed, have a feel of it, if it's still feeling wet, if it's still feeling oily, if oil's coming off on your hands, give it another buff. Now, what you can do as well is you can sort of, well, I've got a few pieces to do today, so we'll give it a good buff, just enough to remove that initial surface oil, then we're gonna set it aside. We'll come back to this at the end and do a second light buff on it, just to make sure that all that oil is removed and then tomorrow I like to give pieces overnight as well as the timber top as well overnight just to fully soak in anything that's still sitting on the surface overnight um, when I come back tomorrow rather that's ready to come off it doesn't need to stay on there again onto my brush and we're just going to these look streaky as well I'm not sure if you can see that they look a bit streaky because I have um, given them a light sand and then just wipe them down. That's why they're looking a bit not so great, but you won't see that once this is all dried. Do you have any questions? I'm happy to answer, I'm happy to help. I don't bite, I promise. For our locals, we are open until 
five o'clock tomorrow for the very first uh, Eagle Hawk Winter Festival, which is very exciting. And we will have a local artist, Stephen Stanley, uh, painting live in here. And myself, I will be here. Um, and then I'm also, I've roped in my husband for the day as well. So that nobody walks out without speaking to somebody. Uh, there's nothing worse than a customer walking out and me missing them. So we're all here tomorrow. So looking a little bit beautiful. That shine will dull down. That's just because the hemp oil is still wet. Once it dries, um, that shine will be pretty much gone. Now let's do our two big drawers. I'm just going to grab a couple more cans of paint to sit them up onto. Let's do them all. I've got all afternoon. I'm doing them anyway, so you guys can join me. Oh. Uh, we no, we won't do the other big drawer because I know first that I missed a big bit with my paint, so it needs another little quick coat on it. This is a very big solid piece. Um, I knew it was big when I got it, but I didn't realize it was quite this big. But it's such a good, heavy, juicy piece. It really works in any part of the home. And if you like what you see, it will be for sale um, maybe tomorrow, but probably next week. So again, we're just gonna brush that all over. We'll do this half and then we'll go down and do the other half because I don't want to step in front of the camera too much for you. Ooh. I'm going to lose it in a minute. That's what's going to happen. A little bit more down this end. Thank you all for watching. I can see there's quite a few of you on, which is nice. I hate doing lives and there's nobody watching. It's nice to know that somebody's listening to me talk. Nobody listens to me at home, so it's nice to have somebody listening sometimes. <laughs> the kids certainly don't like to listen. School holidays and God is nearly over. Last school holidays were all right. My son's only in prep, but these school holidays. <laughs> Can't come to an end fast enough. It's been a very long couple of weeks, I must say. All right, so just like that. Make sure that we get it all down there. Don't forget your edges or your top. If you miss anywhere with the hemp oil, it is easy enough just to go in and touch up any bits that you've missed, so don't stress too much. Um, whereas a top coat, it's that little bit harder. So yeah, really, you really don't have to stress with hemp oil at all. Take your cloth again and make sure that you're giving it a good, oh, yeah, you're gonna lose it, a good wipe down. Remove that oil. You just don't wanna leave that really thick layer of oil on there, okay? All right, so there's uh, four drawers. We're gonna leave the other big one just because it needs a touch up paint. Uh, which I only noticed right before we came live. Um, so if I'd noticed it like half an hour ago, I could have done it, but I didn't. Um, I'm speaking on that as well. I do like to at least give my paint overnight to fully dry before I go in and seal it, regardless of what sealer I'm using. You can seal straight away if you want as soon as it's dry, but sometimes it's nice just to give the paint a second just make sure it's fully dry as well. Okay, so that's our chalk finish. All sealed. Oh, these are very good. Okay, now onto the puppy. I love applying hemp oil. Oops. Now I've got stuff stuck to it, fluff. Uh, I'm gonna sit stuff everywhere and I won't be able to find it and I'll walk around all day tomorrow looking for all these things that I put down randomly. Um, let me just move my stuff out of the road. Okay, so hemp oil and timber. 
beautiful finish. One of my absolute favourites. Um, I hemp oil like 95% of my timber pieces uh, to some extent, whether or not I have varnished them first or not, or stained them first or not, I should say. Um, if I use Pure Eco Stain and Glaze, I always hemp oil over it, or I will use um, Hemp Bee Creatives Hemp Oil and Beeswax Polish, which I am out of stock of, and I need to restock soon. But hemp oil, timber, match made in heaven. Absolutely loves it. Now, you can put it down all over um, and just sort of do that, or you can pop it on your brush. I'm just gonna pop it on my brush. Up to you how you do it. Now, hemp oil will darken the timber, but it's showing its true color, okay? So don't panic. I also love that hemp oil can be very easily reapplied if you ever feel like your piece is needing a little bit of love. So all you're doing is brushing that on. Let's get the hemp oil all over it and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna sand it. And you've seen me do this so many times, but I'll show you again anyway, because it is really is, at the ends, really is one of my absolute favorite ways to finish a piece. This cover was a, a, at some point, I think painted green, there's just little bits of green paint every every now and then, and I love that. I love old bits of paint just showing through. And when it's fun colours like that, like this really vintage green, I just think it's really beautiful. So, can you see that difference already? How beautiful is that timber? So the top of this, um, so the whole piece has been sanded right back. Uh, the top, though, was still very, very red. Um, it's exactly the same timber as the rest. I think there was just a lot more varnish on it. So it was still looking a little bit red, even after we had finished sanding it. It was 100% sanded. So it has had one light coat of bleach on it just to get rid of that redness, and that did the trick as well. I haven't done anything else other than that. There is no varnish or stain and glaze or any other products on this today. So don't stress if you miss bits, because you're gonna spread that out anyway. And the timber, I can see, this is just drinking it in. You can see where it's really sitting on the surface. You guys can kind of see it but on the bits where it's soaking in, it's doing very well, don't get it on me. This is really good for your skin as well, so don't worry about getting it on your hands. Either you can, oh, you can wear um, gloves if you want to, but I've never had any issues. Just wash your hands with some warm soapy water as you would if touching any oil. It's all natural, so you don't have to worry about any sort of chemical reactions there. So spread it out. Go along this front bit as well. Don't want to miss anywhere, because I guarantee I will miss something. Oops, stop sliding. I've just got it on a trolley because it's such a heavy piece. Okay. Like that. So you can I think you guys can sort of see it. See where it's really soaking in down this end? See how dry that looks already? And then down this end, how it's still quite wet and shiny. The timber's just drinking it in. Um, and we've, we've still got, what, half an inch there? Maybe a little bit more? So we'll have enough in this bottle to do this whole piece. So, once you've got your oil on there, before you buff it, you wanna come in with some really fine Sandpaper. I am using a, it doesn't say, a 1,000 grit. I am using 1,000 today. Um, the finer you can get, the better. And what we're going to do, we're just going to very lightly sand in the direction of the grain, which is the lines of the timber, to knock back those timber fibres. So when timber gets wet, 
it can, uh, all those fibers can stand up. And then it can feel a little bit furry, a little bit rough, and it doesn't matter how fine you go with your actual sanding it back, it can feel smooth as a baby's bottom the minute you put a finish on it, those fibers are gonna stand up again. So this is why we come in with it now. Sandpaper. And you're just going to, this is also gonna help push that oil in. You're just gonna sand in the direction of the grain all over. If you feel like the oil has soaked in too much, you can put more on, but you generally wanna air on the side of portion with the oil, okay? You don't wanna be putting so much on that the timber can't soak it in and you can't buff it all off, okay? So this is gonna be so smooth and beautiful when it's done. And nice and durable as well. So about a 30 day cure time. But every piece is slightly different as well. And it's just when it goes to that really nice natural process and harden. So you're just gonna go all over. You can see how much that's pushing the oil into the timber as well. Now looking nice and even. And it's spreading it out. Okay, get along those edges as well. Don't forget them. There's nothing worse than feeling this hot and it's beautiful and feeling the edge and it's horrible. So always the edges. Don't forget. Is there any questions? Oh, thank you, Nicole. <laughs> I promise it is easy. I do things, I make things harder on myself most of the time, but this is very, very easy. Anybody can do this. And just adding this one step to your process really will make a world of difference. On the very tactile process, I love to touch things. If I touch a piece and it's not silky smooth like this, I'm not gonna buy it. Um, so even if it's just for your own benefit, make sure, I'm just gonna give that a little buff, I must have splattered some onto that. Even if it's just for you, do the right thing by yourself and look after it. What are we saying? Can you use? Yes, you can. If you go back and watch the start of this video, Nicole, uh, after I finished today, I applied it onto the, not that one. Oh no, it is on both. <laughs> I haven't finished buffing these yet. They look a bit patchy. Onto chalk finish. It's really, really beautiful over the chalk finish. All right, once you finish your sanding, a couple of minutes, doesn't take long. You're gonna come in with your microfiber cloth or whatever cloth you're using again. And you're gonna run it up and down. You can go in any direction you like and you're going to wipe off all that excess oil. And then tomorrow, you'll come back and you'll do this again. So you'll just sand it down again. Uh, sorry, not sand it down. Ignore that whole sentence. Tomorrow, you will come back and you will wipe it again. Anything that's still sitting on the surface, it's not gonna soak it. Take it off, okay? If you don't take any excess off, you will end up with a sticky mess. I can guarantee you that. So, nice wipe down. Now, as you're going, you may notice that your cloth will sort of grab hold of sections. I don't know how well you guys can hear that, but, and I can really, really feel it. That sun is right in my eyes. What a horrible spot for it. Um, I can't shut them in the window because I've just rearranged the studio and all the artwork sitting in the corner. Any bits where it's grabbing, come back with your sandpaper again. You do not need, a, need to apply more oil. Only if you want to, it's really not necessary, okay? And you just really lightly, sorry, I'm about to cough. Too much talking today. Um, really lightly, just stand that section again. It should feel really, really smooth. Okay, your cloth shouldn't be grabbing any fibres. It should feel really, really beautiful. 
and you touch in your best friend with this process, okay? You can do this exact same process with, um, with wax as well, exactly the same. Any other questions? section. We don't want any missed pieces. Alright, so that's it for today. Um, this was a fun one. I love doing this sort of finishing. Um, I also love it because I know the piece is almost done. So this piece will be available from next week. For anybody who is interested, send me a message um, and I'll sort him out. And for everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I will get this video up on to my YouTube. Actually, I might do it right now, um, which will be a nice change for me. Um, and then, yeah, jump onto my YouTube. It's just the Pan Brush um, and Hope, the channel's name. Uh, really nice and simple techniques and processes, uh, yeah, techniques and finishes, etc. Um, I post everything up on there. Facebook tends to hide videos quite a lot and Instagram's are right with short ones but longer videos on Instagram can be quite hard. So, or a little bit harder to watch I think as well. So, I do put everything up on our YouTube channel. You can find everything that we've used today on my website, thepainterbrush.com.au and you can pop in store as well, 37 High Street, Eagle Hawk. Tomorrow we are open 10 till 5. We have local artist Stephen Stanley painting. Uh, all the businesses along here will be having something happening. We've got some big sales happening on our furniture and on our art supplies as well, in store only, which I will share with you all tomorrow morning. One last question. How often would you say you need to reapply hemp oil to keep it in good condition? Only when it needs it. So, for example, my dining table, I hemp oiled two and a half years ago and I have not reapplied it again yet. So only when it needs it. If your timber's starting to feel really dry, uh, it's starting to look really dry and it's just not wearing, it's starting to really mark and it's just not wearing very well, reapply a coat. Uh, give it a good clean, light sand and then reapply. Uh, it's very dependent on piece to piece. Some pieces are, are incredibly dry timber, they need that extra coat every now and then, whereas other pieces like this, I wouldn't expect this to need, need a coat for at least five years. Um, maybe a bit sooner, but again, it depends on the environment that it's in, how it's being used, um, and what sort of treatment it's receiving as well. So I hope that helps. Thank you all so much for watching. Have an absolutely wonderful Friday night and um, weekend, and I will see you all in our next week's live. Bye everyone.